alongside a brand new crafting system, it's just pretty tough to get a grip on the state of the game right now. Bunch of crunch time, I'm so excited. This is the Definitive Pro Guides Chapter 2 Season 6 tier list. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. If you're using the best weapons in the game, but you still can't pull yourself up to champions, then you gotta check out ProGuides.com. All right, we've got master courses from some of the best players in the community, like Mongrel and Clicks, and you know, we have pro coaches ready and waiting 24 seven to help you guys improve fast. Shotguns have been a huge topic this season and have been, you know, infuriating thousands of players. With the addition of the new Primal and makeshift shotguns, the shotgun game is extremely unbalanced. You know, makeshifts have only three shots in them and clearly do not do enough damage to just use them as a main shotgun. And so every player just wants the makeshift shotgun gone from their inventory. Do you agree? And so people want to upgrade as soon as they can to make sure that they do not lose their fight. And on the other hand, the Primal shotguns are just a different breed of Overpowered. Hey, is this what's happening? So in a season with the pump shotgun around, you know, it just feels weird to be like putting something else, you know, at the top of our tier list, but that's exactly what we have to do. The primal does a ton of damage. And you know, if you have the close range aim to really back it up, your opponents don't even stand a chance. And so even after the nerf, this weapon takes little to no skill and really can just wipe out an enemy in seconds. If you have a primal and someone just jumps into your box or you jump into theirs, the fight is already over. And so what makes the primal even more overpowered guys is the fact that there is a mythic primal on the map this is the only shotgun with the mythic form in season six and if you come up against an enemy while using it yo they're done for you know it just feels gross to really have the pump you know down here in our number two spot but honestly after the nerfs and the addition of the primal shotgun the pump just can't keep up anymore and so if you have the aim you know the pump shotgun will still perform well but after its headshot damage at higher rarities was toned down your chances of getting a one shot have definitely diminished so to play with the pump in chapter two season six you're gonna have to learn to play extremely patiently because anytime you go for an aggressive close quarters fight you might just end up being out damaged by someone using a primal so if you utilize patience and and practice your aim and peace control then the pump can still really be a fantastic weapon but it's not definitely not the top of the pile anymore you know every season has to have a worst and in this season it's the makeshift shotgun you know even after it's buffed the makeshift really has no real chance against someone effectively using the primal or the pump and there are just only a few rarer situations where using it will allow you to come out with a win you know by spam firing the weapon you can actually eliminate an enemy faster than if you're using a pump but you're gonna need to land all your shots perfectly or your opponent will definitely regain their advantage. So instead of just trying to carry a makeshift through the entire game, you're going to wanna farm mechanical parts and bones so you can just upgrade it you know, to a primal or a pump shotgun. And so if you do try to keep it throughout the game, you're only gonna be putting yourself on the back foot. All right, so without a doubt, man, like the SCAR is the best rifle in the game right now. SCARs have the best damage, right? Like they have barely any bloom, allowing you to absolutely shred, you know, no matter what distance you're at. So in close to medium range, tracking with the SCAR is very easy, and you're gonna crack your opponent's shield almost every time you go for some sneaky entry damage. And so in close quarters, the SCAR is also an absolute laser beam. I mean, you can run into someone's box and 200 o them without even having to track them perfectly. And so the SCAR's fire rate and recoil actually tend to help you you know headshot your opponent more and it's just very easy to control and so overall the scar is the best rifle to use in any game mode and will never disappoint you in intense situations and so if you run out of the shotgun ammo hey don't give up just use your scar the primal rifle definitely deserves the second spot on our tier list and it is an absolute demon of a weapon man like this rifle can be used as an smg as well and shoots very very fast and so we know we said the scar is really good in box fights and close quarters but the primal is even better you may be wondering why is this not ranked number one and it's just because it's just not reliable you know the primal has a ton of bloom and is basically useless for far range in medium range you may be able to just laser your opponents but it takes a lots of bloom control and luck and so next time you're in a predicament always just take the scar over the primal rifle like the primal rifle is still a really solid weapon it really is and and in games as well you're definitely not gonna have any problems thanks to its high damage output you know you can refresh it with ease and jump into boxes and just shred your opponents the only reason primal rifles are in our number two spot is their unreliable long-range damage
You know, many players may argue that the mechanical AR is better than the primal rifle in some situations, but that is just not the case. You know, although this rifle has much better bloom than the primal rifle, the damage is just much worse. And so considering both the damage and the rarity of the weapon, you're better off picking a primal rifle. And this AR is almost impossible to find on floor loot, and it's not really worth wasting your mechanical parts to upgrade to one. So just rock the makeshift or primal till you have enough resources to upgrade to a high rarity. All right, speaking of makeshift, weapons like the makeshift rifle is definitely the worst ar in the game and so this gun has a lot of bloom and the damage definitely does not make up for it up close this gun will absolutely infuriate you and will make you miss a lot of shots even if you have good aim so you may be starting to just notice a trend with the makeshifts and that's really for a good reason every single drop spot has a source of bones or mechanical parts and you should always look to upgrade to a primal or mechanical rifle whenever you have the chance and this gun will cost you off spawn so don't take any risky fights. All right, bunch of crunch armies, time for the question of the day. What is your favorite weapon in Fortnite? Like, are you a primal shotgun fan or a pump shotgun master? Or are you the sort of player who likes to just hang back with a scar and a bow? Let us know in the comments below. You already know we're going to check it out. All right. So out of all the bows, the Stink Bow is definitely the best bow to use in all game modes. Like this bow will absolutely infuriate your opponents as I've said with other guns as well and will give you guys a huge advantage over players. Like the bow will help you pressure your opponents, it'll make them waste a lot of mass and lose a ton of HP. Your opponent will be in absolute shambles by the time you or your team pushes them and definitely will be an easy kill. So just like the Stink Bow, the Explosive Bow is really good for pressuring your opponents. However, you do need to be very sneaky with this bow and know exactly where to fire so the damage on this bow is very low so you should definitely look to shoot in a spot where the explosive projectiles can hit your enemies if you manage to get the explosive shot into their box you will end up doing way more damage and make your opponents lose a lot of resources all right so the flame bow is very useful for pressuring opponents and does a decent amount of damage as well the flame bow is very easy to craft and it's definitely lethal off spawn fights for example like you can use the flame bow to pressure opponents in wood buildings and then force them to burn all their resources all three of these bows are really good for pressuring your opponents and it's definitely a really good idea to pick them up all right since these two are very similar the primal and mechanical bow it's going to be in the same section so the primal bow is just a little bit better than the mechanical due to the fact that you can just craft the stink and flame bow the primal bow does 20 less damage than the mechanical bow so it's obvious that these two come very close the makeshift bow does 52 damage to the body and is definitely pretty much like only used to upgrade to the better versions. The makeshift bow is definitely the worst bow. Like it has no special properties and really does the lowest damage. Due to how common it is, it allows you to easily just craft the better versions of the bows. So definitely make sure you always pick one up if you have a free slot. All right, the mechanical revolver is definitely the best type of pistol this season and it's worth picking up. Like if you like using primal shotguns, this gun is actually worth picking up over an AR. The damage is incredibly high and in just two shots, you can hit your opponent for over 120. Are you serious? And so with an AR, you're depending on your bloom and your opponent's movement, but with the revolver, it's just pure aim. You can hit your opponent for a quick 66 damage and have a huge head start going into the fight. This may come as a surprise to most, but for once, the makeshift revolver is actually better than the primal variant of the pistol so the makeshift revolver is very similar to the mechanical revolver and does a little less damage the makeshift revolver hits for 46 as the base damage and it's just really good for like starting off a spawn fight you can always upgrade to the mechanical revolver for just a couple of parts but never upgrade to a primal pistol the primal pistol ladies and gentlemen may seem great due you know to the higher variance of it and the burst damage but this gun will definitely cost you a lot of fights because of the burst damage it's just very hard to beam your opponent and you need to make sure guys that you have an AR or spray weapon if you need to carry this just because of the unreliability and burst action fire this is the worst pistol out of the three Obviously, you know, the mechanical SMGs are definitely the best this season. The P90 variants absolutely shred through structures and have extremely high fire rate. Just like the P90, the blue SMG also has a very high fire rate and does a ton of damage. And so these guns are also much easier to aim with than the others and are just the most reliable in an intense fight. All right, so the Primal SMG is an absolute laser and can actually be very good in certain situations. So the SMG does a lot of damage and is actually very close to the P90. 
And so the only reason why this SMG is ranked below the mechanical SMG is because of the recoil and how hard it is to consistently hit your shots with. The makeshift SMG isn't too bad, but the others are just much better. And so the makeshift SMG is just very similar to the tactical SMG, and it's just very good for off-spawn fights. You should always look to upgrade this gun to a primal or mechanical SMG, but don't be scared to fight with it. Watch your crush army, okay guys? Remember, using the right weapons, it's gonna help a lot. But improving your own aim and mechanics is also essential as well. And so if you're practicing and practicing and you're not seeing improvement, you have to sign up at ProGuys.com. I mean, they can personally walk you through, you know, what you're doing wrong so that you can become the player of your dreams. Hey, if you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want some more motivation, you know you can find me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. Never give up, never surrender. Keep going, keep grinding. I'll see you soon.